Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we have another little project. I am going to be bombarding you with projects now that I am finished with Stamp Escape. I had to concentrate on that for a little while, but now, but I have so many things running through my mind that I want to get done. And you know, this is the season for everybody seems to be having babies at this time of year. So we're going to make a little card, and you can use it for a baby shower or little place settings or um, you could just mail it to someone who's having a baby. So we're going to start out with a piece of cardstock that is four inches by seven inches and you're going to put it on the seven inch side and you're going to score real lightly, score very very lightly at four inches, just enough for you to see it. Not Okay, and then you're going to score at five and one quarter, and you're going to score that one all the way across. So we'll score that one pretty good. Then you're going to turn it to the four inch side, and we're going to start at one inch. And what we're going to do, we're going to score down to that little light line that we made there. So just bring your score line down to that little light line that we made. Then go to three inches and do the same thing. Just down to that little light score line right there. So, see, there's our little light, light score line. And it doesn't even go all the way through, so that's good. That's what we want. We just wanted to mark our paper. So then we have that line coming all the way down to that one. So what you're going to do now is take your scissors and let me put my glasses on so I can see the lines. You're going to cut down all the way down to that little imaginary score line that you made there on both sides just like that. And then you're going to cut across on that little light score line that you did. So you want to cut that little piece out. Just like that. So then you have something that looks kind of like that. Alright, you're going to fold on your score line. Go ahead and let's let this aside. Go ahead and fold it and burnish those. And let me see if I can get my lights to where they don't blind you there. Okay, there we go. I put a piece of white paper behind this. Make it a little bit easier for you to see, too. I have a, a different color mat ordered that is supposed to not have the glare on there. So we will see when it gets here. Okay, so fold and burnish on those. And then you're going to take your corner rounder and you're going to round these little corners off just like that so do that on both sides so you have something now that looks like that do you see what we're getting at <laughs> I think everybody now knows what we're what we're gonna make now you need another piece that measures, and I do believe it's four by four. Four by four, yes. It is four by four. So the piece that you have left off of this, when you cut this seven inches, you're gonna be able to use it right here. So you can get two of these out of a 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock. So we're going to put that right there. But before we put anything together, we're going to do something a little different. Now, you also need a piece that is two and a half by two and a half, and you're going to go down to the bottom. Either one can be your bottom because it's the same size all the way around. And you're just going to mark your center. So let's put a little mark right there. And then you're going to go up three quarters of an inch on the side and mark it and then on the other side go up three quarters of an inch and mark it 
So let me show you that now. We marked right here at the bottom and then we came up three quarters of an inch on both sides and marked that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to, and I'm not going to draw my line because I'm going to trust myself to cut it straight. If you have a good long hand, long uh, blade scissors, just put your scissors on that bottom mark and then point them directly to that side mark and just do one swift cut. And that's going to cut that off. And then do the same thing on the other side. So there you go. That is going to be our little pocket right there. And while we've got that like that, before we put anything together, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make some stitch marks on this. I am just using my black Sharpie pen. It has the fine tip on it. You could use any black pen that you have to make these stitch marks. I'm just going to make it look like the little pocket sewn on. Okay, so there we go. We have our little stitch marks on our pocket. So we're going to lay that aside for a minute. And then you're going to take this piece right here that's 4x4. Four four. You're going to go down to the bottom. And again, it doesn't matter which one is the bottom because it's the same identical size. So we're going to find the center on this. We're going to mark just one little dot on that center. Okay, so put your ruler on the edge of the bottom. And you're going to come over one and three quarter inches and you're going to mark it with a little mark. Go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Mark it with a little mark. And then we found our center already. So what we're going to do now is we're going to find that center mark and we're going to go up let me put, put my let me find my center mark again okay You're going to find that center mark and you're going to go up five eighths of an inch. So right there is my five eighths of an inch. And I'm just going to make a little dot. So this is what I did. I came over one and three quarters from this side and made a mark. Came over one and three quarters from this side and made a mark. I found my center right there. And then I came up from that center mark. Uh, five eighths of an inch just like that and this will make more sense in just a second what we're gonna do okay I'm gonna take my small snips and I'm gonna put my blade on that little mark right there I'm gonna cut up to that little mark at the top I'm gonna put my blade on that other mark that I have out there and I'm gonna cut up all I'm doing is cutting that little wedge out at the bottom. You see that? That's all I'm doing. Just this little wedge. So now we have that. And let me snip this one just a tiny bit better. There we go. Now, you see, doesn't that look like the bottom of some little shorts on a little guy? Okay. We're almost ready to start putting this thing together. Do you see it coming together? Isn't that cute? Okay, before we put anything else together, we're going to do a little bit of stamping. Now, this is just some light craft colored cardstock, and I have this old, 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 I don't know how old this stamp is, stamp, and don't even know where it came from. It was probably a Stamp It Up stamp a long time ago, and it's just a little teddy bear. And we're going to stamp that little teddy bear on here. And I am going to use some Distress Oxide in the Vintage Photo. Make sure that I get him stamped up pretty good. I'm just going to press him down. not going to worry about if he's straight or not because I'm going to cut him out anyway. Now, if you don't have a stamp like this, if you don't have a punch, 
you could do it on your Cricut, um, just whatever you have. But you see how cute? Isn't that cute? So I'm going to fussy cut him out. So I'm going to lay him right there. And then I also found this tiny, tiny, and you can see my grandkids have played with it. They've got some permanent ink on there, but it, do, it didn't affect the stamping at all. It's a tiny little bottle, and it just fits in that little bear's hands. So we're going to stamp him. On some white cardstock. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So we'll cut that out too. Then what else have I got? Let's see. I think that's all I'm going to stamp with the Distress Ink. So let me cut these two things out and then we will be right back. Okay, I have cut those out and I know it's hard for you to see right this minute, but let me hold them up in my hand. I cut him out and I went around him with a little black marker. Brown marker, I'm sorry. Just so that you couldn't see the white parts or where I didn't cut. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some brushed corduroy in the regular Distress Ink and I'm just going to just touch it on him in different areas. I'm going to try to make him look like he's got a little bit of fur going on there. This paper is a little bit textured, so we should be able to get a little textured look. And remember, when you're adding your inks, little is, a, is good. Add a little at the time, and then you can always go back and do another layer. But if you add too much in the beginning, then you're going to have a little bit of a mess. If you get too much, you can't take it off, but you can always add more. See, he's got a little bit of a fur going on there. Now I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to go in and put his little eyes back in. Okay. And I think our little bottle is okay. So we're going to leave it alone. So we're going to take our art glitter glue... And I'm going to put a little dot, just a tiny dot, and that was a little bit too much of a dot, right on his hand, and I'm going to put that little bottle on there. And there he is. Isn't he cute? He's holding his little bottle. <laughs> I think he's adorable. Okay, so we're going to lay that over there for just a minute. Okay, and now we're ready to start putting this together. So all I'm going to do... So I'm just going to line this up, the front and the back, and then I'm going to press these down. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, and I, yeah, I'm just going to use my liquid glue. It's easier. It's in my hand. So I'm just going to put a little glue right under there, and then press that down on top of it, and do the same thing on the other side. Just making sure that you've got everything even before you press that down. Okay, so there is our card so far. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Now we're going to put our pocket on here, and we just want to put glue on the two sides and the bottom of our pocket, not on the top. Because that's where we're going to put our little bear holding his bottle. Okay, so. And you could certainly put this up on Pop Dots if you wanted to. I'm just going to put it down to make it look like it's a little pocket sitting there. Okay. And now we have some brown bling. And I'm going to take a couple of pieces of this. I'm going to put one on each side to make it look like it's little brads holding his pocket on. On his little jeans. There we go. Okay, and now I have two buttons. And they're not alike, 
but I don't care. That's fine with me. I'm going to put a button on each one of these. Now, if you want to go ahead and run some thread through these before you put the, put the button on, that is fine. I'm not going to do that right now just for the sake of the video. I'm just going to put those on just like they are. I can always do my little thread on top after the fact to make it look like it's running through there. So we're going to put one right there. But you know, little boys never have the same little buttons because they always lose them. And Mom has to sew on a different one. So that's fine. We have got that. Let's press that down really well. Now while those are drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp. This says baby shower on here and I got this stamp. Let's see, these came out of the Prima Planner Accessories pack. Sorry about the glare. This, these little stamps came out of that. There's tons of nice stamps in there for little small areas. And we do have more of these in stock, I am pretty sure. So let's find us a piece of paper. Here we go. And I'm going to use, it on these little stamps, the Distress Oxide inks do not work well because they're too intricate and it just kind of smears a little bit. So I'm just going to use some of my uh, VersaFine ink. And let's see, I may have got too much ink on it. Let's put that down and see. Okay, we're going to stamp it again. So there's baby. And then let's do shower right under that. Hopefully I'm not getting my head in the shot. Baby shower. There is baby shower, and I am just going to trim this out and make a just a little square out of it for the center right there. Okay, so we're going to put that right in the center there, but before we do, I also have this little, it's a baby pen, a diaper pen, baby pen, it's a diaper pen. And I'm going to try my hand at stamping it on there. I should have stamped it probably before I cut everything out or stamped everything, but I didn't. So let's do a practice run. There we go. So let's try to put it right there. Oh, that's okay. It ran off the side a little bit, but I don't mind. It's a little baby pen, diaper pen. I keep saying baby pen. It's not a baby pen. You don't pen a baby with that. Well, you might, if you're like me. Okay, so we're going to glue that down right there. And I think I am going to put that up on pop dots. So we will just put a couple of top dots on the back of that. Center it up, just like that. And then we're ready to put our little bear in there and he's just going to sit in there like that but I'm going to put a tiny bit of glue on his little back side just so that we'll hold him down in there there we go and that is the card isn't that cute I've got a couple of friends that are expecting and I will be making a few of these for them and sending over but wouldn't it be good to make these and put them as place cards at a baby shower or something? You could put the person's name there or whatever. Or to put little shower favors inside there in a little bag. That would be super cute. But they sit up just like that. 
and they will fit in a regular size envelope so I think they're adorable okay guys that is it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and don't forget about our cruise that's coming up September the 18th I will put the link for the information for that below as well and we look forward to seeing you there we'll talk to you later bye bye